Uh, some time ago, I had some line lawyers uh, who represent uh, or who are employed by Baker Donaldson and Horowitz, some law firm, uh, big time law firm that's in, you know, in Nashville and Washington, D.C. They asked me a question. <clears throat> and the question was this. And they said, have you been to school, college, to be a preacher? Uh, and of course, my response was, is why in the world would somebody want to do something like that? And of course, they couldn't understand that, just like many of you can't understand that. You see, you're going to have to listen to me real quick in order to gain a proper understanding. You see, our system is based and built upon um, people training and schooling you. Um, and, and of course, you know, more of my responses was, why in the world would I want to go to a school that is going to train me, a seminary, to de deceive, bewitch, lie, and trick the people. Now let me just tell you the truth about American Christianity, the unadulterated truth, uh, what you really truly don't want to hear and like to hear. Uh, the truth is, is that re government uses religion as a tool. And the reason why they use it as a tool because if they can make you nice little church-going people, uh, then you will be less oppressive to their society. Do you understand that? And they could care less about you serving the truth. As long as you uh, embrace a set of ethics, codes, and the principles that they set forth before you, um, then they're content. That's why this whole nation, from one end, from New York to California, is deceived. Literally. So, you know, I also said, I said, well, tell you what, have your pastor, at, uh, hey, he's got 5,000 people that go to that church. And uh, he's college educated, got a degree and stuff. Have your pastor to uh, have an open debate with me on any subject. I'll let him pick it. It makes no difference whether it be law or grace. Um, Jesus, who the real Messiah is, uh, the Sabbath day, um, the feast days versus the holidays makes no difference. You see, this religion called Christianity is not what this Bible represents. <laughs> this is a Hebraic book right here. And people, what they've done is they've taken this book Christianity has. And they have made their own set of rules, laws, regulations, and all that, even their own set of questions. They have nothing to do with this book whatsoever at all. And because you've been trained to manipulate your mind to exclude truth from your conscience, uh, you believe uh, in Santa Claus, even though this book don't talk about no Santa Claus. You believe that a rabbit can lay eggs, even though this book don't talk about it. And what's more deceptive than anything that actually shows who your allegiance is to and who you truly really serve is whether you like it or not is that fourth commandment, the holy seven-day Sabbath. And listen to me. I, there's no way that I will be a damnable seven-day Adventist. No way. So don't try to even label me with that mess and garbage. I'm an Israelite. Um, so you can't get these people because they don't, they don't want to hear truth. They don't want to hear it. They want to be religious. But I'm going to tell you something, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of that people are on their way to the lake of fire simply because um, they would not repent and turn from their wicked ways and embrace the truth of what this book says. Let me say this again. And I'm trying my best to help preserve you, the people, because the preachers are done for. They've already been trained in lies. And again, all you preachers out there who claim to know the truth, this is Pastor Dial again. Uh, especially you first day line Sunday preachers. <laughs> you people are amazing me. You're amazing. We all say we want to know the truth. And yet we won't embrace. So no, Pastor Dial, I have never been schooled taught. I've been taught, I've been schooled by the Holy Spirit, but I've never been schooled taught to, to learn to go, you know, to go to school to learn how to trick and deceive you people, to learn to be pious as the Pope. Um, because that's what you're used to. Anytime somebody comes speaking soft, speaking smooth, speaking eloquent, and you, you know your traditional, docile, um, pagan, Christian form of, of worship. And some of you pagans out there that ain't these other religions. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't go to those schools and I wouldn't go to those schools. Um, so any of you people out there that are in seminary, you're wasting your time. 
you are literally waste your time. All you're doing is going to learn how to lie to the people. Uh, and that's just the truth. <laughs> it's just flat out the truth. Um, tell your professors at any college of divinity in this country that Pastor Dollar is willing to come to their classroom, to their campus, and have an open debate on any subject they want. And let's see how many people take this up. Because make no mistake about it, people do listen to me. Oh yeah, they do. They may not ever admit it, but they do listen. Because this voice of truth is hard to be ignored. That's the truth, and that's the truth straight away. Let's prove all things and hold fast that which is good. Now, for you the people, get away. Listen to me real good. Listen to me real good. Any preacher that promotes Sunday worship or first day rest, meaning going to church on Sunday, and they teach you to transgress the Sabbath. I don't even care if they say keep the Sabbath, but yet they don't do it. They don't honor it. Whatsoever at all. You are dealing with a deceiver and a bewitcher and a seducer. Take your family, get away from them. Cut off them TV preachers. Cut off these YouTube preachers who are, don't, who are not filled with the Holy Spirit. That's a question you need to ask for. Have you been filled with the Holy Spirit? And if you have been filled with the Holy Spirit, um, tell me how you know you've been filled with the Holy Spirit and make sure they give you a biblical answer and not philosophy. Make sure they give you a New Testament book of Acts answer. And then ask them if they keep the commandments and then bring up the Sabbath. You're going to find out real quick, fast, in a hurry who's the truth and who's a lie. Learn the art of hearing. Learn it good. Learn it real good. Because you've got one chance at this life. I can't afford and you can't afford to be wrong. We're growing in the grace and in the knowledge of the king. Do not allow yourself to be deceived by a system that is trained you in deceit. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is, is it not amazing how that when you start to embrace the real truth of this Bible right here, how that people are, are just not willing to even sit down and to discuss it with you. Uh, they call you cult. They talk about you behind your back, especially Christians. Um, and they begin to behave like devils towards you. Uh, they become very vindictive and very angry and very adamant just because you've changed your allegiance from false pagan satanic Christianity to the same faith as Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moshe, David, Jesus, Paul, and all the apostles. A Hebrew Israelite. A remarkable. Is it not remarkable? Is it not? It's really that simple. It really truly is. Read the book, believe it. And the one way you can get out of this deceit is, is you've got to come aside. And you've got to open up this book and begin to read it for yourself. Take it one subject at a time. You know the truth and you'll find out if Pastor Dollar has been telling you the truth or if I've been telling you a lie. Most people are entrenched in tradition. And most people, they don't care about what's written in this book. They don't care whatsoever at all. And they are not going to submit to biblical terms under any, any circumstance whatsoever at all. So that's telling you. I don't care if they're your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your aunt, niece, nephew. That makes no difference. If they will not have fellowship with the Father and the truth and the Son, then there's no way that they can be a disciple of Christ. There's no way that they can be trusted. And that's the truth. Prove all things and hold fast that was good. People, come out of her, my people. Come out. Come out of the churches. Every single one of them, come out. And if necessary, have fellowship with the Father through the Son with you and your family on Sabbath days. Go back in these archives and listen to some real, true, biblical Holy Spirit teaching. I guarantee that the Holy Spirit will bring about a conviction. And you'll grow in, in just two days of watching videos. Uh, here, my videos on preaching and teaching. You'll learn more in two days than you have in the last 20 years at those lying, jack-leg, 501c3 dogs of churches. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. Remember, government uses religion as a tool. 
All these churches all across this land is no more, nothing more than the Roman Catholicism and the Church of England. That's all that it is. Come out of her, my people, and then come out from among them and be ye separate. You want to be separate from these people so that you can get away from them and not have your mind all screwed up and messed up so that you can receive the truth, embrace the truth, and then grow and then learn to be at peace. But you watch and see. You know, Christ told us that there will be those that would kill you and think that they do God a service. Now, how many of you people out there have actually come out of these churches, embraced the truth, and you watch to see how your friends, so-called, your family, so-called, your neighbors, so-called, your relatives, so-called, behave against you? And all you did was just change your behavior from the false religion of Christianity to embracing the truth of what this Bible says. Because whether you like it or not. Jesus was not a Christian. Paul was not a Christian. No he wasn't. Uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses. All the apostles. They were not Christians. Hmm? Think. Think. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. 